YouTube. Hey, Keith Buds, we're out in the woods. Uh, everything's pretty freaking wet out here. But uh, it's a little bit of my homemade fire paste. Got a little tiny fire going. She's warming up. Got a little bit of wood collected. There's my crazy small tent. I put uh, my rain fly up. I put a piece of plastic over that. There's blue tarp. There's no way I'm getting wet tonight. Not to mention that crazy waterproofing. And this is that lantern. Got it all set up, ready for tonight. So, yeah, we're just going to chill out for a little bit today and uh, relax. Have a little fun out in the woods. So, since Memorial Day was such a friggin' washout. Now, mind you, I've tried to make this video probably six, seven times. I just couldn't do it because I hadn't gone to the store and got everything. But um, Memorial Day was a huge washout. All that rain. No fun. So, came up Labor Day. Got to give a big thank you to Ashley, you know, for tolerating me going out in the woods. Um, this weekend, relaxation. If I work on the shelter, I work on the shelter. If I move my tent, move my, move my tree stand, uh, anything like that, it'll be whatever. I'm just going to chill. So, we got a nice little fire going. We got the saw and the axe. I'm going to get some more firewood later. Uh, that's going to tide me over for right now. Because it's a little, a little cool. I mean, it's not bad. A little cool. Uh, no bugs. It's the best thing about this time of year. Um, but if there is bugs, I found at the dollar store, um, these like wet naps that are soaked in, uh, off. So any bugs come around, we're going to try it, but I think we'll be all right. So we'll check in later. So my loadout was considerable for Memorial Day. I mean, I probably had 250 pounds worth of stuff. It's a hell of a walk and down, up over up you know it's it's a lot of hills and stuff so i kind of compacted everything a uh, smaller tent um left my saw up here didn't realize it was looking around in my car for like 10 minutes short um got the machete i had all that underneath my backpack um actually took pictures beforehand came up with this really cool scabbard for the 22 uh so i could essentially go hands-free um i had to bring an accessory bag with me for the lantern and a bunch of water and food and stuff like that i'm gonna eat like a king relax uh got a cool couple things planned um got an mre to eat we'll probably uh I'd have that tonight, I'm thinking. Um, I'll go into detail about it later, but for now, uh, just going to get everything finished setting up. I brought myself some uh, Swiss iced tea, and if you guys have never had Swiss iced tea, um, you got to try it. Super good, like one of my favorite iced teas. And I got some uh, Platinum... What's it? Platinum 7X Vodka. And it's uh, extra smooth vodka distilled seven times. Got a shadow there. There you go. So um, I took a little tongue taste of this when I when I bought them because I was actually looking for Sky Vodka. You know, once again, no one's paying me to say any of this, obviously, because I'm broke, as always. Um, Want to have a little vodka and tea? Um, Got a uh, nice new beer to try. Well, not really try. I had it a couple times. Um, but we're going to enjoy it out in the woods. We're going to drink responsibly. Um, tomorrow we may do a little small game hunting. I brought the Survival 22 up. So, yeah. 
check in later. So, what we're gonna do now, you know, maybe have a little something from our MRE. I'll uh, had a little addition put into it. Put it in a thing of tortillas. Our MRE that we have today is penne pasta with spicy tomato sauce and vegetable sausage crumbles. Ooh. We'll save that for later. We got some wheat snack bread, which I've had before. Eh, not really too keen on it, but that's why we have tortillas in case you don't like it. Uh, what do we got here? We got some grape powder. We got some chocolate pudding powder. We'll have that later too. Accessory packet, coffee, creamer, toilet paper, flameless ration heater, hot beverage mug, and peanut butter. I think we're gonna have some peanut butter and snack bread. And if we don't like this, that's why we have tortillas. So, put this aside for the moment. Let's see what we got. Fire's toasty. I decided not to split up those little pieces. They actually, they'll burn for a really long time. Just as they are. So, oh, we broke a crumble off. Hmm. A lot better than the last one I had. So, yeah. Need up the peanut butter. I watch a lot of uh, that Steve 1989 MRE guy. For some reason, videos like that. I love watching them. I just don't find it boring. That's a lot better than the wheat bread I had last time. Take a little corner off. MRE nut butter. Yummy. That's so snack. You know what? This bread is phenomenal. I wish I had more of it. Peanut butter tastes uh, peanut buttery, as you would expect. Good stuff. So. You'll see a little fire rock in there. Just gonna sit by the fire. It's a lot more. Drink our rock and tea. Eat our wheat snack bread. So, in my haste to leave, I realized I forgot a cup this time. But that's okay, because these iced tea containers, I'm gonna put my crackers in. Look at that. It's a cup. It's a handy dandy shaker lid. So, I'm gonna throw. Eh, what the hell? I've never had this vodka, but like I said, it did the tongue taste. And I didn't get that instant burn like I always do with Smirnoff. So, I was happy about that. I'm not a big drinker, but I. You know, I just know what I like. So, realize you can't see what I'm doing. So we have our bottle full of Swiss iced tea. So that I could have a nice reclosable top. Because I don't trust those little half quart things that the iced tea comes in. So, Nostrovia. To a weekend out in the woods with relaxation and plenty of YouTube content. I say again, Nastrovia. That is like smooth as sky. That is so wow. It is really good. I really got to be careful. These are really tasty and really drinkable. Out of my square plastic cup. But I suppose the cool thing about this is I don't have to worry about getting any debris in there. 
nice. See, Keith Buds, always thinking of something new. So one of the things I wanted to do while I was up here um, came to me from an accident that I had. Um, I had left a pill bottle with a like little cheapo freebie lighter um, up at my original bug out spot and I came back just about a year later and I looked down and there it was. So, I took a big pill bottle and I put five of those cheapo lighters in it and sealed it with electrical tape. Now, all those or that lighter was still functional after a little bit of dry out time. It was like a little bit rusty, but it still had about half of its fluid. But the inside of the bottle was wet. So I figured that it had gone in through that seal. So I'm going to come up a year from now and... Well, right now I'm going to put this in some recognizable place. But I'm going to come a year from now and I'm going to see what happened to these lighters. I want to see if they've exploded, uh, expelled other liquid, if they got rusty and wet inside. Because I know this bottle is like legit sealed right now. So, as you can see, five cheapo lighters. There's uh, three orange ones. I'm sorry, two orange ones, a yellow one and two green ones so we're gonna find a place to put these we'll mark it out and another video for a year from now so check in later. so right now it's about 3 30 i've had a little snack had you know a drink got some more firewood cut right there I uh, think I'm just going to go through, organize my uh, stuff, and organize my camp a little bit. When I was walking up here, I actually, right over in that general direction, I spooked a uh, little doe out, maybe a year, two year old. Pretty uh, pretty good size. Uh, saw a bunch of tracks coming up here. Um, my campsite and my, uh, my tree stand... And everything is right over in this general direction over here. But way down the hill. So we're staying away from that area. We're trying to keep that a little bit cleaned up. Not going to disturb it at all. So nothing will seem out of place during hunting season. So for right now I'm going to go through and organize and move my stuff around a little bit. Because this tent here I have very very limited room. Uh, I actually had brought my inflatable couch thing, which just wave through the air and twist it up and snap it in. Um, I'm not entirely sure it's actually going to fit in this thing, so maybe we'll do that, maybe we won't. Not a big deal, at least I have something big to sleep on. Even if I don't inflate it, it'll still keep me up off the ground a little bit. So, yeah, we're just going to hang out, organize, maybe snack on a little. I get this from the dollar store here, this uh, Rainforest Trail Mix. It's got, like, bananas and coconut and, like, tra it used to be called Tropical Trail Mix. So you get the idea where that comes from. But snack on that a little bit. Maybe have a uh, half a drink, get things cleaned up and organized, and uh, decide what we're going to have for dinner tonight. If we're going to make something or have our MRE. It's been pretty cloudy, and it's been raining off and on, but it's a really light rain, and it's really sparse. It's not really supposed to rain too much more. I guess this is all like remnants of Harvey, is what I'm being told. I don't know if that's the truth whatnot but so yeah woods everyone so right now uh we're gonna take a walk down to my ground blind i have a uh home depot bucket down there i realize man i have nothing to sit on 
I, I thought I would bring my my inflatable couch and I'd be all right, but I don't know. I'm worried I'm going to put a hole in it or something like that. So I didn't bring my hammock, which I absolutely should have brought. So right now we're just going to take a walk down there and grab my little orange homer bucket. I have 22 with me. It is small game season. If I do see something that's worth taking, uh, maybe I'll bring you guys along. But we're just walking around right now. You never know what's out in the woods. There's been bears out here, so I don't know. See you guys in a little bit. See, this is what I mean about the terrain down here. And see how freaking steep and windy and exposed roots and all that and I broke my toe well not my toe the bone behind it a couple weeks ago um, actually this tree right here I'm actually thinking about moving my tree stand over here because it's got a much wider field of vision than where it is now but ever on bird Alrighty, so we have opened up our MRE and we got standard stuff, creamer, coffee, salt, moist towel, that Tabasco sauce. Uh, I brought some hot cocoa and I think we're going to make some uh, some mocha. So I got a bread tin here because it like it, well, I uh, didn't feel like bringing a mess kit this time. I can just use these. I can boil water in them. I can cook in them. Do all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to throw some water in there. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. That's good. We have Coffee Instant Type 3. I also brought uh, some instant coffee, some more hot chocolate, a bunch of uh, Hawaiian punch drink mixes. We're also using our MRE spoon. I'm just going to mix this up just a little bit. Looks like weak ass coffee. So I'm going to bump it up a notch. Oops, got some wrapper. Just the hazards, I guess. Another half a pack. I'm gonna take our hot chocolate mix, and yeah, I'm doing this cold water and heating it up because I like how it tastes better. At least just to me, it tastes better. Mix it up, mixy, mixy, mixy. Doesn't have to be completely mixed as it's boiling, that'll mix it all up more. Set that over there. And as you can see, I have rearranged my fire pit. Got some seriously hot coals in there. Maybe we'll. Oh, yeah, see, I got some wood drying around the outside. So, nice little wind block, keeps everything going good. I got kind of a long fire going on here but if I wanted to I could turn this into an oven just by putting another rock on top of it so that's cool we're gonna take our mocha put it there and let her heat up so folks it's getting to be about dinner time I got my mocha heating up Breaking the uh, good old MRE here. Tear here to use bag. Alright. Used one of these a couple times. So, like I said, we have penne pasta with spicy tomato sauce and vegetable crumbles. Yes, sometimes I like to say things in a funny way. And vegetables. 
So we're going to give this a good squeeze, flatten her out. Slide that bugger in. Oh, it slid down. That's not good. Tune in this week and let's keep Bud struggle. There we go. So we're gonna take some water. Put a little too much water in. And just dump a little bit out. Perfect. Okay. So we fold this over, stick it in the box, let it sit like that for like 10-15 minutes. Here's our ow. Perhaps I should have used gloves. Ah. Our mocha is done. Just give her a little bit of stir here. We're going to let it cool down. It's good stuff. All right, everyone, check in, in a little bit. All right, so, you know, my armor is heating up. Our mocha's cooled down a bit. I'm going to make, that's all I'm going to do in this is make mocha, so. Cheers. Uh, that's darn good. Just the right amount of coffee and chocolate. So this is going to be my mocha pan. Another one will just be for boiling water. And the other one's going to be to make hash in. And then we'll just meal plan around there. So I'm going to sit here. Enjoy my mocha. Because you know what? I could not... I cleaned out my mason jar after the last time, and I cannot believe that I forgot it, but make do with what you got, I guess. A nice sea container, a loaf pan, whatever works. So, Emery is almost done heating up, and we'll come back. Alright, so it's been a while. You feel it hot through on the other side. Ditch that. FRH is still super warm. Now, I'm no professional reviewer or anything, but I enjoyed, you know, trying MRE every now and then. Reach over, grab our spoon. Looks like lasagna, only all mashed up. Looks pretty good. Smells really good. In fact, it smells a lot like lasagna. Got some noodles. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. Quite a. Quite a hint of anise, and ooh, that's a bit spicy. Oh no, not bad. A lot of spices going on in there. Interesting. So. We're going to sit here. Finish our main course. Keep an eye on our fire. Never did have that other drink, but uh, later on tonight we have uh, Red's Blueberry Ale, which is pretty good. Um, what I did was I froze up some iced tea and uh, 
some water and I put them in a bag and I put the beer below them so it got a cold from all angles so that should be nice and cold tonight all right the sun's coming out I put up all my solar lights not too long ago I got them all facing west so it's a really nice day no bugs no bugs this is great this is this is how camping is supposed to be no friggin bugs so I don't want to lose any. We finish this up. Pick up our area a little bit. Get everything organized again. Check in a little bit. Alright, so I changed the uh, rocks for the uh, fire pit around a little bit. I got it in sort of a self-feeding mode. So we have an open space here. Here. And here. We have wood going through, and there's a piece up there just going down this way. And it's working really good. I've been doing this for about the last hour. It's cool. I can actually use like long, long pieces of wood, like three, four feet, versus cutting them down anymore. It's like foot, foot and a half. Just use long pieces and keep just so that's what I got going on for the moment. It's about like quarter after seven. Just chilling. It's good times. Got the self well kind of self feeding fire going. Nothing really to do. Should be dark within the next forty five minutes. Maybe then uh, solar lights will turn on and we'll start snapping some glow sticks and let the nighttime approach us. So, uh, father in law just stopped up for about 20 minutes, half hour. Uh, talk about possible cabin locations and whatnot, looking around here. So. I cracked a set of glow sticks a while ago. Um, I kind of did two of them on accident earlier, so yeah, I cracked those other ones. We'll light the lantern soon, but you guys can see this. How nice that sky looks. Beautiful. So, still hanging out. I've uh, changed the feeding fire around to make an actual self-feeding fire just for a little bit. Get a little bit more heat and smoke going. So, it's a good night so far. Really enjoying myself. So, my friends, we've officially lit the lantern for the first time in who knows how long it's been since it's been lit. Really happy, it works, lights everything up pretty good. You can see the tent, whole area, yeah. So, happy times. All right, so, about nine o'clock. Um, we're going to make some of uh, this chocolate pudding dessert powder. Ooh. So, about four ounces of water. So, Follow you on directions. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. 
Shake your pudding. Shake your pudding. I can't sing. It's entertaining, huh? Aren't you glad you're watching? This lantern is awesome. Mm. Oh my god. Yo, it tastes like it tastes like brownie batter. That's so good. Really need to cool down. That uh that main course I had from that MRE, yo, that tasted good up front and afterwards. Too spicy, too too much anise going on. It was it was rough. Uh, so, yes, I did eat it all, but kind of had a little heartburn going on, ate a tortilla, and got this emery pudding. Oh mm, my god, seriously? It's just like cake or brownie batter. It's so good. So, I'm going to eat my pudding. Slash brownie mix, whatever it is. Sit down by the fire. It's a good night. I don't know how much you guys can see. <laughs>